Welcome to Magitoots. Today we're going to create an email signature in Canva. You know these nifty nice uh, graphics uh, where you see a photo, a name, profession maybe, a business name, a website, an email and also clickable icons for social media. All of this you can do in Canva and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do that. The first step is to create a design. Usually these uh, are between 300 and 600 pixels in width and 700 to 200 pixels in height. We're going to start with a custom dimension design. Here I'm going to create design and then we're going to choose width. It's already entered here of 500 pixels and height of 200 pixels. I'm going to start by creating a new design here. So a new tab is opening and we have our design here. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to select a frame from elements. So I go on elements and we need to choose the frames because the frames will allow us to add a picture into it and we want to have sort of a profile picture. So I drag and drop the frame here. All right, then as a next step, I'm going to line and shapes because we would also like to have a, a nifty, nice little border around the image. So I'm going to select the circle here and um, drag and drop it onto our design. It's important to know that you could also use keyword um, shortcuts. I think you can also use C here uh, like this. If you see on the keypad, you can add circles just like that. So we're only going to need one and it should be a little bit bigger than the circle we already have here where we want to add the picture to it. So um, the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to add it to the background because um, the picture needs to be on the foreground. We can do this by right clicking and then send to back. So it'd be in the back like this. Okay, it's a little bit um, too bold. Gonna just make it a little bit short. Um, a little bit. It's a little bit too bold. So I'm um, I'm just made it a little bit smaller. Like this looks pretty nice. So I wanna um, look for uh, for an image that I can enter here. Uh, I'm entering face. Gonna look um, for a suitable face here. The face of this um, guy. We can use that, and I just drag and drop it here. So. As you can see, it now fits um, the circle. Now what we want to have is a border. I don't really like this gray border. It should uh, rather be black. So I'm, I'm just going here on the um, color and um, add it as black. Perfect. As a next step, uh, we want to add a couple of text boxes. I go on text and I'm starting by adding a heading. So this is going to be the heading and I need a couple of subheadings. Let's add three subheadings just right there, like that. And these are the boxes I can use for the name as well as additional info I want to add to my signature. So I'm going to use these uh, to add additional info to my profile. I'm going to start by adding a heading and a name. Uh, let's say this is Max Mosterman and um, he is a freelance designer. These are too close together, so I'm going to space them out a bit like this. Perfect. I also want to put them here because I can just select one, con command C and then command V on the Mac if I want to add another one. Gonna make sure that it's um, the same distance like this and these will be used uh, for the additional info such as phone number and um, also email address and so as a next step we want to add a couple of icons so the first one um, is going to be for the phone number and here we would like to have uh, whatsapp icon so um, let's choose this one. Perfect. I just 
drag and drop it and now I'm going to resize it a bit so it's going to look nice all right then I'm going to add my phone number just like this six seven eight nine perfect so I just need a little more, more space here once we added the icons perfect I like make it a little bit smaller so make it a little bit smaller so I think that looks all right um, on the next line, um, next subheading, I'm going to add my um, email address. So this is Max Masterman, in this case, at gmail.com. Okay, need some more space. Then I'm going to align it here. It's going to align it here. So we need an um, email icon. see what fits the bill I think this one will look all right so it's already selected I'm just gonna decrease the size a little bit so it's gonna be about the same size as the other icon just add it to it and it's really nice if you drag and drop it show you it shows you that the lines that help you to align it um, nicely with the other things you have already entered. On well, the next line, we're going to add our Skype um, account name. So this will be Max M, let's say, or no, let's say like Max, Max Master. So I'm going to look for a Skype icon. So we go with this style. This one looks quite nice. Just need to make it way sm smaller. Okay, it's not, not really fitting. I'm looking for another one. It needs thinner lines, something like that. Yeah, that looks all right. Just gonna resize it again as the others. And I'm gonna align this one as well as much as I can. So, just a little more spacing here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Ah, shows me that they're aligned. Perfect. So this is about it. Um, as a last step, what I want to do is I want to download it. Um, first, I give it a name. So this um, is email signature Max Mosterman. Now I can just download it. Um, what is important here is that I add transparent background because I want to have it as a transparent background once I use it in my email um, program, let's say Gmail. And um, I'm going to save the download settings. So um, this is pre-selected the next time around and I will have it as a PNG file. This is suggested because it's also quite a small file format. I'm going on download and it's now downloading my email signature. And this is about it. Um, we now created an email signature in Canva. Very well done. All right, we've now created the email um, signature. But we would also like to create um, icons, clickable icons that I then can use in my uh, email footer as a signature. For this, uh, we go back to home and then we start by creating a new design. This time you're going to use a custom size again, but we're going to make it 50 times 50 pixels. So I start by creating a new design. All right. So we're going to elements again and we 
going to type in social icons because we want to find uh, social icons that we can use. As an example here, um, Facebook, I just drag and drop it just like that. And then, um, yeah, it's now um, like that's the Facebook color, but uh, we could also change it if we want to have it like really a bright yellow. Never seen this before, but um, people might be clicking, click on it. I then can also um, add um, um, a border if I would like to. So let's say um, we want to make a nice rectangular border here. I'm going on square and um, I can use um, it like this and I will just add another shape um, onto it. And I need to put this in the background. So um, send it backward. So I can see still see the icon and of course um, it shouldn't be over that so I add this to the background and also now I'm gonna use a white um, square just on top of it I'm sending this backwards and not to complete back but I'm just one one back so um, like this, I have a nice yellow uh, border around it and here uh, you see the icon. So then, um, now that I'm done, I'm just giving it a name. So that would be the Facebook icon and I can download that one as well. Um, go download. I'm going to choose transparent background again and I can just download the file. So it's downloading and now it's done. Well, that's about it. You just created an icon. You can do this uh, multiple times. And um, if you want to add a, a LinkedIn icon or any other icon for that purpose. So once we created that icon and have uh, downloaded it, what we then uh, could do is um, to set it up in Gmail as an example. So um, on Gmail, I would just go on to uh, settings and then um, there is a nice little icon to attach email signatures. I will go on attach email signatures and I can add um, the email signature I have just created. And then um, on the lower hand side, I would just um, add the icon as well and um, add a hyperlink to it so it would be applicable. This is the next thing we're going to do. I'm just going to show this um, to you right now. All right, we're now in the Gmail account. And basically what we want to do is to go to settings and um, create an email signature. So um, I have here the quick settings, but we want to see um, all the settings. So I'm going on this button here. Perfect. Now it um, shows me the settings. What we're looking for is the email signature. So I'm just going to search for signature. Uh, there it is already. Here we have the signature. We create a new signature here and we can give it a name. So that could be signature Max, Max Mosterman. We create it right there. And what we're looking for is this icon. So here we can insert an image. So this is the icon we're, we're looking for. Um, we're going on upload and then I'm selecting a file from my drive here. It's on the desktop. This is the email signature I created. I just open it right there. It's now uploading and should be visible within a couple of seconds. Perfect. What we now do is um, that we go down with the cursor um, just below because we also want to um, add in the icon that we have created. So we just do that by inserting image again. We're going to look for the icon that uh, we created, we created a Facebook icon here. I just open it up like that. And it's uploading it and it's visible right there. So what we want to do is um, we would like to connect it with our uh, Facebook account. So what we need to do is to add a hyperlink um, to it. So I just select it. I go here on um, link and we could add uh, hyperlink here so that would be i don't know facebook.com slash um, max musterman perfect and we go on okay and now uh, this one is linked so whenever someone uh, clicks on the icon they will immediately get onto max musterman's 
Facebook uh, account. Now we can do that, of course, for all uh, social media, such as LinkedIn, which might be uh, relevant. So now if I want to um, use the, the signature, I'm just going to go and compose new uh, email. I can go here on insert signature and can choose signature Max Mosterman just right there. And it's inserted, as you can see, this one is linked um, as we uh, have done already and um, have a really good looking uh, signature. Maybe not to call her yellow here with the Facebook icon, but the rest I think looks very professional and clean. That's how you create an email signature in Canva. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give the video a like and also hit the notification bell. Like this you're gonna tell YouTube that these videos are relevant and you're gonna help us tremendously. Thank you.